Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world's The World Away. And we're now starting issue 11 of the IXO Collections release of Build the Peugeot 205 GTI 1.9. Now, issue 11 encompasses stages 29, 30, 31, 32, and there's a lot of frame in this issue, a lot of bulky pieces as well, but let's show you what we've got to do. As you can see, we've got some uh, front bay that's going to go in the engine here, which is going to house the horn components, and then we've got these massive sections here, which are metal. I haven't even opened them yet, but I mean, check them out. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, we're going to be installing those into the vehicle as well and then we're going to start doing a little bit work on the rear brakes on the final section here it doesn't look like there's as much to do as we normally do uh in these stages but let me just also show you the vehicle at the moment because i mean this is just a wonder it is just so detailed definitely out of all the 18 vehicles the most detailed car i think i've built and it does look absolutely amazing. So uh, we're gonna get cracking on with that today. Now, if you wanna get this for yourself, I've put the link down here. All you do, just go over to IXO Collections. They're a French company, but if you are based in the UK, it should automatically translate it to English for you as well. There you'll find all the instructions. The instructions in the magazine are in French, hence why the instructions are also online in English for you to follow. But uh, yep, head over to IXO Collections. You'll be able to get this all the way from issue one. But without further ado, Let's get cracking. Okay, so this is part 29. This is the engine bay front panel, which we're gonna mount the horn to. So we get this open. And to start that, we're gonna need the two parts of the horn, which is this bracket here, and the actual horn speaker itself, which is just gonna be pushed in to the hole that we can see on this bracket. Now it's a very tight fit. So you're gonna to have to push relatively hard to get this in, just like that. And there we go, that's in, that's not going anywhere. It doesn't require glue, that one. We then take the engine bay front panel, looking like that, it is metal, looking absolutely brilliant. And the horn is actually just gonna go into the cutout that we can see just on that section here. It's gonna go in this way. It's gonna sit on just like that. And it's gonna be held in with an AM screw. And once again, we are going into metal, so I will just touch a tiny bit of oil on that screw just to help it go into the metal. Because obviously you have got painted parts on this. You may have a little bit of paint on the threads and anything to help this just line up is going to be a great help to you. So screwing that all the way in and then make sure that's really tight. And when that's in, no wobble should look just like that. We're going to be putting a bracket just on the other side here as well. That bracket looks just like that. It has got a semicircular lug at the bottom and it's just going to be pushed into the hole that we can see there. Now again, that doesn't need glue, but it is gonna to need to be pushed in quite hard to keep that into place. So that's the two brackets in place. So we're just gonna bring the vehicle over here and just turn it upside down here, being very gentle, just like that. And then as you can see on this section here, we've got two holes here, which is gonna mount over the top of this section here, just like that on both sides. It's gonna be held in once again by AM screws. So once again, I have put them just in a little bit of oil and one the other side, then I'll tighten these up fully. Turn it back over so it's gonna look just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 30, we've got the rear section of the chassis here, so we'll get this open. And this is what that looks like. Again, this is all metal and looks immaculate, doesn't it? We've also got some buffers here, which are also metal. You can't believe that, but yep, definitely metal, quite heavy as well. Uh, that's what the first thing we're gonna be attaching to this. And quite simply, they're just gonna go into the sections so that we can just see at the top there. So one's gonna go in this side there, and the other one, is just going to go into the other side just like that and as you can probably tell with the only screws we get in this one they're going to be held in with gm screws just from the other side so i'll do this side first just going through the hole here i have put a little bit of oil on that because again we are going into metal and that's that one in should be nice and tight in there do the same just onto the other side here
and there you go that looks just like that when it's in secured from the bottom and that's all there is to do in that stage now stage 31 we're working on the rear axle and some of the brake components here and if you haven't figured it out yet this is the rear axle and it's metal as well so the first thing we want to do is holding it like this you can see we've got a hole just in that section there we've got the handbrake uh, mounting cable or the cable mounts there that's just going to go into that hole there and it's going to sort of fit on like that and it's going to be held in with an am screw so i've got a screw ready here and once again we are definitely going into metal the amount of metal on this build absolutely amazing so i have lines that up there get the screw in and tighten that as hard as i can get it and when that's in it should look just like that the next clip very similar clip looks just like this is this the hydraulic hose holder and that's just going to go into this indent here this way round, once again being held in with an am screw so screw that all the way down and there you go and that's the other hose connector in and then the last thing we've got is the caliper mounting bracket here that's just going to go onto this little lug and sort of like a mounting bracket we can see there it should fit perfectly over the top and once again it's going to be held in with an am screw and that should look just like that the only thing we need then is the brake dust shield looking just like this once again we've got another holder little bracket here which is just going to go into that that's just going to go into the indent that we can just see there and it's just a push to fit so it looks just like that and then all we're going to do is take that dust cover take the axle trailing arm there and that's just going to fit underneath like that so it's looking like that from that side there and we're going to secure that down from this side with two am screws once again i have just drop these in a bit of oil that's the first one that's the second one and just tighten them fully up and when that's done it should look like that from that side that from that side and that's all there is to do in that stage and in stage 32 is pretty much an exact mirror of what we've just done but for the other side so once again this is metal we're going to put the first clip in here which once again is going into this hole just like that so i'm just going to put that in with an am screw and then screw that all the way home like that there we go and that's the first hose holder in place the second one looking like that is just going to go into this section here with an am screw again and here's the second holder in put that all the way down just like that we've got the caliper mounting bracket which once again is just going to go onto this side just here with an am screw and again make that nice and tight so that looks like that then we're going to take the brake dust shield again we're going to push this little bracket just into the indent here so it's that way round and then once again just like we did last time this section here is just going to go underneath this section here just like that and you want to screw it in from the right side so screwing it from this side here that's the first one in that's the second i'm just going to tighten them up a little bit and there we go that's two of these completed they look just like that from either side and obviously we did the rear chassis plate looking just like that and we also did the front engine mount with the horn on the front there but that is all there is to do in that pack I said that was going to be a quick one wasn't it but I'm still impressed by the amount of metal in this build it's absolutely amazing uh, once again if you want to get this for yourself I'll put the link down there IXO collections and you can get the Peugeot 205 1.9 GTI 
all for yourself. Uh, I've seen what's coming in the next few episodes as well. And uh, one of the last issues I've got given, the carpet that's going into this is going to absolutely blow you away. But uh, that's going to be coming uh, in the next couple of weeks. So uh, I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.